Hi everyone, my name is Janie. Welcome to Dig Plant Water Repeat. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so bear with me. I am just getting used to all this videoing and editing and all that fun stuff. Um, and it is a gardening channel. Don't be alarmed that I'm in my garage, my unfinished garage with my old fridge. But today I wanted to talk to you about pre-chilling bulbs. I live in Northern California, Davis, uh, which is a small town in the suburbs of Sacramento, and it's actually zone 9B, which is a really mild zone. Um, and so there's some pretty interesting differences in gardening here, um, just because we're so mild. We only get um, a few frosts, and it really just doesn't get cold enough for a lot of the spring bulbs to, to bloom for us. Thus, I'm here in my garage with this old fridge because I want to show you how I pre-chill my bulbs in the fridge. Um, so come on with me. And I have my notes here, so if I reference those, don't be alarmed. Okay, so here is my fridge. Uh, you know, we just store drinks in here, eggs, all that, all that fun stuff. Um, and you can kind of see I got some bulbs down here, uh, packages of bulbs here, all that fun stuff. Uh, and my husband doesn't get annoyed at all with bulbs being in <laughs> our fridge, um, but he's really sweet about it and he um, he's very patient with me. Okay, so um, the bulbs that need to be pre-chilled uh, in my zone are mainly tulips, hyacinths, crocuses, uh, those all need pre-chilling. Uh, daffodils don't need pre-chilling necessarily. Iris, freesia, alliums, um, uh, those type of bulbs, they don't. And a lot more people in my area plant daffodils than they do for tulips. Um, but I just wanted to try them this year. I have, I'm not a professional gardener. I'm an amateur. I actually only started gardening in January, 2020 when we bought this house. Um, we have less than a quarter acre plot, but it's just enough for me um, just as my hobby garden and um, I'm having fun with it. So all the uh, research that I've done, it's really variable about exactly how long you need to pre-chill your bulbs for. I'm going on the recommendation of eight to 14 weeks. Some places say 12 to 16 weeks, some say six to 12 weeks. Um, so obviously it's just like everything with gardening, there's no uh, specific right or wrong answer uh, and it's all trial and error based on the microclimate I guess I would say uh, of where you live and what works for you. Um, so I put my bulbs here in the fridge on September 21st um, and then my plan is is to have all of my bulbs in the ground by December 30th which would be 14 weeks so from September 21st to December 30th is 14 weeks. I, if I get time, it's the end of November right now, 2021. If I get time uh, in December, I'll start planting. But my big plan, my, uh, on my calendar and my phone, it says bulb planting day on December 28th. Um, so that's kind of the big day that I have planned uh, for planting everything. Um, so the, you can see my nice big sign right here. Probably the main thing that everybody needs to know for pre-chilling their bulbs is not to put any fruit in the fridge. And that's because of the ethylene gas. I think of it as, you know, when you wanna ripen a banana, you stick the banana in a brown paper bag so the ethylene gas ripens it. Um, so we just don't want that for our bulbs. Um, so, uh, you know, you'll read that everywhere. That's kind of the first thing, no fruit. So this beautiful sign that I made um, is for my husband, my kids, and me, just to remind us, absolutely no fruit in this fridge. And you can see we mainly, mainly just do sodas and, you know, eggs and stuff like that. Um, all right, so then the other thing I wanted to show you guys was this thermometer that I have. It's actually a greenhouse thermometer. Um, and I uh, move this in between my greenhouse and, and the fridge here just to kind of monitor uh, the temperature. This is an old fridge, so I don't trust it at all, but you can see that um, it's keeping it, you know, right where we want it to be. Pre-chilling bulbs, you want between 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see with the refrigerator door open, it's hovering around 50, so I think that it's perfect. Um, so I've just been kind of adjusting the dial on where I want it to be, um, just to keep it, you know, uh, in the right temperature range. So it's it's been pretty easy. Um, so those are the main two things that I think I need, um, I think you need for pre-chilling your bulbs. And now I will show you some of my bulbs. Um, 
So these I got from Costco. These are the Schuberti Eye Alliums. I think that they're so cool. And it's funny because I actually bought some of them from another company and I am blanking on the name of the company, but I'll put it up on the screen right now. Um, and then I saw them at Costco while I was there and I, they were, I think they were $12 for 10 of them, um, which is a fantastic deal. So if you guys are Costco members, uh, you know, in the fall, late summer, early fall, go look there for spring blooming bulbs. Um, I just think it was such a good deal. So here are my big bags of daffodils. And like I said, you don't need to pre-chill daffodils in zone 9B, um, but I figured I was pre-chilling all my other ones and I might as well store them there. I'll put up um, pictures of, I have a, kind of a front swoop that I put annuals in right in front of my lawn in the front of my house. And last year I planted daffodil bulbs and it was so beautiful. It was absolutely gorgeous. And these are the kind that I got. I got these from Home Depot. They're the yellow trumpets um, and they were just breathtaking. It was so nice to see the bright pop of yellow early early winter, um, I guess I should say mid to late winter is when they, when they bloom, but um, it, it was stunning, it was beautiful. Um, so let me move my sign out of the way. Uh, another bag of daffodils. You can see that when I do things, I do them all out. Um, I think that's huge with gardening is that you don't want just one or two of the flower, you really want a lot of them um, and it makes a, a big difference. Um, so then again at Costco, I saw these tulips, these big love tulips and 50 of them. And I think it was $12 for this bag. Um, and I just, oh, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I, felt, I try not to buy flowers, but you know, you can't help yourself when you see them at the store. So all four of these bags are these big love tulips. Um, so that's 200 of these um, that I'm gonna put uh, in the ground and hopefully they bloom. You know, I don't have super high hopes. I'm not. I'm not expecting amazing just based on my zone, um, but you know, it's worth a try. Trial and error, worth a try. Okay, so you can see up here, I have this hyacinth, Will and Kate, and then I put over here, I put some of the bags. I just took them out of the bag so that um, uh, I could save some room in here. These I got at Home Depot as well, Will and Kate blend. And then I also got some other tulips. These are the apricot impression tulips. And then the replete daffodils. And these three are down here in this drawer. Okay, that's one thing, you gotta be prepared for the mess. <laughs> so, no big deal, it's just drinks in here. Um, but these are, these are these bulbs in here. So really beautiful. Um, we have a nursery in town called the Red Barn Nursery and Don Shore has worked there for, or owned it for over 35 years. And he actually tells people that you don't need to pre-chill bulbs in our area. Um, so, you know, I could have risked it and I could have taken out, you know, one of these and not pre-chilled it and seen what happened. Um, but I really wanted a good, a good, uh, spring bulb show this year. I just thought it would be so cool to have that and I got so much joy from the daffodils last year um, that I thought I would just do everything I could to make sure that I had a good show and these flowers came up. I'm expecting the daffodils to be perennials here. They naturalize. It's actually really beautiful when you drive down the freeway they, you know, the, the tulips will start popping up and, and to me that's the first sign of, I know it's not spring, but that's the first sign that that we're, we're almost there. Um, and daffodils have always been my favorite flower. So it's just so exciting to see them pop up um, when you just want some color. So I'm expecting these to keep coming back. That's why I'm okay with getting so many of them. But the tulips, I just, you know, I just, I don't trust them to come back. I'm not gonna pull them and, and chill them. Um, over next year because I think that that's too much work. So um, I'm just gonna plan on the daffodils just being uh, annuals and I'll, I'll just pull them and toss them and then just buy new ones. And if I can get them at Costco for 12 bucks for 50, that is an amazing deal. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm not a professional. I This is just what I'm doing here and you guys will see on my channel. I'm planning to do 
um, a lot more videos of just kind of what I do. I love gardening. I'm obsessed with it and I want to talk about it all the time. So I figure that a YouTube channel is a good way to keep doing that. Uh, so I'll give you guys updates on when I plant these and how they, um, how they do this year and any constructive criticism or uh, comments or questions are welcome in the comments section. Um, and I appreciate you guys taking the time and letting me talk to you about gardening because that's what I love to do. And uh, thanks so much. I'll see you next time.